Hi, this is Peter Reynolds, and I'm in my studio in Dedham, Massachusetts, and I'm holding a book that you might know. This one is called The Dot. The Dot. About a little girl named Vashti who is a bit afraid to make her mark in the beginning, but she has a great teacher who inspires her to make her mark, and boy, does she ever make that mark. And not only that, but she also helps uh, another kid who's struggling a little bit, right? He's unsure of himself and she encourages him to make his mark and see where it takes him. Well, uh, where it takes him is to the sequel, which is called Ish. And there's a sequel to that called Sky Color. Those three books are called a trilogy and a trilogy about creativity is called a create trilogy. So, Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about my book, The Dot. So you may have read it, but maybe you don't know where it came from. And back in 2002, two things happened to me. And uh, by the way, if while I'm, I'm talking, if you want, you can, you can be doodling, making, making some marks, making your own dots. That makes me happy. Um, so I was uh, teaching a class. Um, here in Dedham, Massachusetts, in my bookstore. I own my very own bookstore called The Blue Bunny. And one of the kids in my class, who was in first grade, she was painting something. And I came to look, and she threw herself on top of the painting. She would not let me see what she was, what she was creating. And I thought she was joking at first, but then I realized that her body was shaking and she was really nervous. And so I, I let her be and then I came back and she still was nervous. And I said, I said, what's wrong? And she, she looked at me very, very uh, slowly. She turned to me and she said, I just, I just can't draw. And I thought, well, that's very sad, right? A first grader who says she can't draw. And I thought, hmm, who, who taught her that? How did, how did she think that she was not a great artist? Um, so I thought to myself, what can I do to help this little girl and maybe other little girls and, and, and little boys? And do you know what? As it turns out, big, big people too, because a lot of people are afraid to make their mark. And so I decided that I would write a story to help kids and grownups as well to be a bit braver and to splash and create and um, discover the creativity inside of them. Right? We all have that creativity. So I said to myself, I'm going to write a book. I didn't know what it was going to be. One night, um, just before I went to sleep, uh, I, well, I, I like to do two things before I sleep. I like to read books, and I also like to jot in my journals. And do you see, see this um, over here? This is a whole, just some of my journals. They're all stacked up, and they have all my ideas from in here and I write them down so I don't forget, which is a very, very good piece of advice. Um, do not forget your brilliant ideas. So one night I said to myself, I'm going to write something and I, I try to make a promise to myself, every night I'll make a mark. Even if I'm really, really tired, I will pick up the pen and then I will put it down, I start moving and I make a drawing. Well, this night I was so tired. I was so tired, I put my pen to paper and closed my eyes and I fell asleep. And when I woke up, there was a dot, a big dot on the page. And I was, I guess judging from how big the dot was, I guess I was probably asleep for one hour. So in the middle of the night, it seemed like a mistake. But when I woke up in the morning, I looked down at my journal and I saw a great big dot on the page. And I took my marker and I looked at that dot again and I said, that is a pretty cool looking dot. So I took the pen and I wrote The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. And that was my inspiration. And I said, that's going to be the story. It's gonna be about a, a little girl, just like the little girl I had met, who said she couldn't draw. But this one little dot is going to become something big and uh, powerful. And that is how I created The Dot. So I, I took, made this little movie in my head and I wrote them the, the ideas down, right? The little drawings from here. I put them onto cards, three by five cards, and I wrote little captions underneath each one. And I uh, showed it to my publisher, Candlewick, and they really, really liked it very much. And they said, let's make this a book. And I'm glad that they did because uh, the dot has 
uh, now been translated into over 25 languages. And there's even a whole day to celebrate creativity called International Dot Day. So if you haven't celebrated yet, definitely check it out, thedotclub.org. You can find out more about uh, how you can make your mark with um, over, um, I think we're up to, coming up to 20 million uh, marks made in 184 countries. So talk about connecting the dots. So thanks for letting me connect the dots with you today. Take care. Keep the creativity flowing. This is Peter Reynolds in my studio here in Dedham saying, great, briefly. <laughs>